And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Gucci Right On sneaker. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a comparison for you as between two pairs of the Gucci Right On sneaker, I think that's what it's called. I've got one purchased directly from End. Comparison on what to look for if you're trying to purchase the retail pair. But before we get into the video, what do you think of the new setup? I think it looks a lot more cleaner and I have a lot more space to move. I still have to sort out the shelving on this side because I've only got half of them in, but what do you think? Signs more visible, I'm pretty happy with it. So. We'll get straight into the shoes. I actually haven't even unboxed these, so I really hope they are the right sneaker. So we'll open them up. It does come with the end receipt, obviously. Shut that box down there. Really complex box. Well, not that complex, I just opened it in one minute. So here are the two boxes. And the first thing to note is from straight above, and I'll give you a close up of this. You can see that the Gucci text on the top is much larger on the retail box compared to the fake. And also the color of the box itself is slightly different. On the fake one, you can see it has that dark green tones going through it, whereas this doesn't really occur on the retail box. And the pattern is much more texturized on the retail box compared to the fake. If we spin the shoes around to the side and take a look at the labels, there are obviously differences here. So the retail one you can see is printed on a darker cardboard. However, these have probably varied over time. And this is the most recent release from the retail one. And I believe the fake one's based on an older release. So just look out for things like that if you're trying to legit check the two pairs. And if you've got a brand new pair, the label should look like this. But nobody wants me to talk about the boxes for the whole video. So I'll open it up and we'll take a look at the shoes. So open up the retail one. And we'll open up the fake one. So the fake one actually comes with a Gucci bag, which is quite a nice little touch, but don't know when you'd ever use this. Then obviously the retail one comes with a number of different labels, well actually three labels, and then obviously some spare laces as well. And if we look at the fake one, it comes with a shoe bag, which says Disney Gucci. Is this a Disney club? I don't think it is, but this comes with a Disney Gucci one. Also comes with some fake receipts in an envelope, two envelopes actually, and then obviously a normal receipt as well, which isn't my name, so just a fake receipt. Looking down at the paper, you can see differences here as well. On the retail one, they've gone for a dark paper, which is like a dark tan brown, whereas the fake one here has gone for a white and gold. So there are differences to note straight away. So open them up. On the retail one, they come individually bagged. Perfect packaging by Gucci, like always. The little details they go to are immaculate. So just look out for things like that. The fake one comes in a clear plastic bag. But it does actually come with the spare laces as well. So credit to the fake one for that. So we'll take out the retail one from inside the bag. And then we'll take a look at the fake one. And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Gucci Right On sneaker. Can you tell any differences between these two? So as we could see, the boxes had quite a lot of differences in terms of the packaging itself, but what will the sneakers say? So obviously the first thing we're gonna look at is actually the Gucci pattern on the side of the shoe. So if I give you a close up of this, we can see differences here. So compared retail to fake, you can see the retail one is a lot brighter and bolder and more clearly printed than the fake one. The fake one just looks a little bit dull. And as you can see, the Gucci symbol and logos and the yellow are a much brighter yellow on the retail pair compared to the fake one. So there are differences to note if you're looking at the side pattern, but maybe with a couple of wears, this would wear down. But just look out for that if you have a dead stock pair in hand. Spinning the shoe around to the back and look at the Gucci logo on the heel, there are differences here once again. However, they are very minor. So if we look at the Gucci logo on the back of the heel, we can see that on the retail one, it's much thinner and more detailed on the retail one compared to the fake, which the fake one is printed a little bit larger and the text and font size is a little bit larger as well. 
What I do have to commend the fakes on is the stitching quality is very good all around the shoe. There doesn't seem to be any overlapping of stitching or anything like that. They've done a really good job of this. Spinning the shoe upside down, taking a look at the branding on the bottom, you can see where it says Gucci made in Italy. There is a difference in size here. So if you look at the retail one compared to the fake, you can see that the Gucci is much larger on the fake sole compared to the retail one. So these are the differences you're going to have to note if you're trying to legit check this pair. Another thing to note towards the forefoot of the shoe, you can see lots of little stars underneath the tread, and these are slightly larger on the fake pair compared to the retail one as well. So one difference that I've actually noticed, which I'm actually surprised about, is the fake one comes with a tongue cover, which is actually very nice. It keeps it in pristine condition and no marks on it at all. Whereas the retail one, it didn't come with this, which I'm pretty surprised about from Gucci, because that's a really nice detail on the fake that maybe even the retail one should start considering doing. However, if we do look at the tongue label itself, there aren't too many differences to note. However, there is one slight one, and that is just the color itself. So on the retail one, the color of the tongue tag is slightly lighter than the fake one. But in terms of text and everything else like that, they are very close indeed, and it would be hard to tell the difference. So now I'm gonna take out the shoe paper and see if there's any differences. Here is the retail one, and here is the fake one. So straight away, you can see a difference. This isn't really paper, it feels more like a cloth in the retail pair of the Gucci trainers, whereas the fake one is just a normal paper, just like any other shoe, so there are differences in that. I guess Gucci's gone for a more quality-like paper on the inside, but once you take the paper out of the shoe, no one's really gonna see it. Looking down from the inside, and I'll give you a close-up of this, you can see a difference on the insole text. So where it says Gucci made in Italy, you can see on the retail one, it's all evenly spaced and printed very well. Whereas on the fake one, you can see it says Gucci made in Italy, but the made in Italy is very tightly packed together. And in Italy practically looks like one word. So these are small details to look for if you're trying to legit check this pair. Because these shoes are practically symmetrical from left to right, that is all the differences I could find when comparing the retail to the fake. So let me know if you spot any more and put them down in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped. And if you're trying to buy a retail pair this Christmas, I hope this video has helped you. It is a really nice pair and the quality of it on a retail one is very, very high. Really do like the leather quality, stitching quality is really, really good. So I hope this video has helped you and I hope you have a great December. Thanks for watching.